What's up Magnets? So today we are testing 10 different Bluetooth speakers. So this, this, and these, this one, this, this, this one, this, and this one. Oh, and I forgot this one. And that's the last one. So we got a lot of Bluetooth speakers last month and today we'll check out which of them is the best. First I want to get started with the Xiaomi clock. I've not seen a lot of videos online, but it looks awesome. Too bad I have no idea how it works. It should work with the Mi app, but I couldn't get it to work and the fact that it just speaks Chinese does not help at all. Anyway, as a normal speaker it has a very clear sound. Not too loud, not a lot of bass, but very clear. So to wake up in the morning it's almost perfect. It retails for 30 bucks and has a 2600mAh battery and can be charged with the included micro USB cable within 2-3 to three hours. Also, somehow it's able to display the time with the LEDs, and the knob at the top can be used to adjust the volume or to mute it. The total output powers 5 watts and 8 hours of playtime. Now a levitating Bluetooth speaker. It's some random Chinese brand called the M6 speaker. It looks really stunning when it's stuck and it's a really nice decoration unit. But it's also really heavy and has not the best audio quality. And unfortunately you can't change the LED lights. But it's pretty cool since the speaker charges when it levitates and you can also put in a micro SD card or just grab it and take it with you. The speaker itself is really small and that results in a small battery with 800mAh. It can also be charged with a micro USB cable and it's pretty heavy with around 260 grams for the small size. So a cool looking speaker that lacks a bit on the audio side, total output powers 5 watts and around 2 to 3 hours playtime. <laughs> Then here comes a little bass monster. This is probably the most bass boosted small Bluetooth speaker I've seen in my whole life. Even though it's only 5 watts, 800mAh and a small size form factor, it really sounds like a huge subwoofer. A 52mm driver in the 420g heavy speaker drops the bass like a huge speaker. The great thing about it is that at also the mids and the highs they still sound ok if you do not crank up the volume to the maximum. Because at maximum volume, the bass is just a bit too strong for my taste. Another cool thing is that it has a FM radio included, which you can use without a smartphone. So for me, this is my perfect bathroom morning speaker, because also the material at the bottom prevents it from falling down or moving on any flat surface. And also NFC makes pairing of this beautiful speaker easy as pie with a playtime of around 4-5 to five hours. <laughs> Another speaker that has a similar look and form factor is the EC Technology speaker. It's 20 bucks cheaper than the Dock in D, but also less bass and sound and it's not as loud as the Dock in D. Still, I really like the look because of the blue LED and the same shiny surface. For sure it also has a 3.5mm input and can be used for calls like the Dock in D. It's more lightweight and the sound is more flat. But also in my tests the battery life was a bit better, lasting around 5-6 to six hours depending on the maximum volume. So a very basic and cheap but cool looking Bluetooth speaker. I start doing things I know I will regret I will make my own way, I will not surrender I will do my best until I get put under Thank you. 
Now the new Yumi speaker. Well, I'm really not a huge fan of Yumi, but the speaker looks cool and comes with NFC, and all that for 35 bucks on Amazon. It's one of the bigger speakers with 5W dual drivers, a 2600mAh battery and a nice rubber coating. They stay 24 hours of battery life at 50% volume. Well, I couldn't do a full 24 hour playback test, but by using it for several hours at work, it lasted around 4 days. That could come close to 24 hours of battery life. It lacks a bit of bass with good mids and okay highs, and it sounded best while listening to a track with not too much bass. So all in all, great and has amazing battery life, but lacks a bit of bass. If you need something more rugged, you can check out the Archie speaker for below 30 bucks. It has IP64 splash proof certification and a LED flashlight, all that in a black orange case. The power switch is a slide on off switch and is located on the back of the speaker behind a flap in the silicon case, which I don't like so much, but at least it makes it water resistant. It also has a 5W dual speaker system and 12 to 14 hours playback time with the 2200mAh battery. Its battery life is not as good as the Yumi, but also decent. It could be a bit louder and more clear at maximum volume, also the bass rattles a bit and the clarity is so-so. The LED flash is really not the strongest one, as you can see, but still for the price below 30, it's okay. If those cheaper speakers are not loud enough, but you like the form factor, check out the EZAC 20W speaker with 10W dual drivers. It retails for around 50 bucks, but also comes with a nice sound and a massive 4000mAh battery. The way how you put it on the table is a bit strange, and one side is more bass heavy, while the other side puts out more high and mid tones. The battery life is really good for 20 watts, because we got around 12 to 14 hours depending on the volume. The highs and mids are clear, but they could be a bit louder. Anyway, the bass coming out of the 45mm driver is impressive. For sure, the speaker sounds a bit bass heavy, but there is no hard oversteering at maximum volume. Something I noticed is that the sound over the 3.5mm headphone jack is not as loud as with Bluetooth, so I think they should work a bit on the gain. All in all, a massive 20W speaker for a great price tag. <laughs> So before we checked out a really cheap Archie speaker, but they also got a massive 25W bamboo speaker which wins the Tech Magnet Design Award. It's a huge wooden 25W Bluetooth speaker with a 15W subwoofer and two 5W drivers. The battery has a capacity of 2200mAh and lasts around 10-12 to 12 hours. Its bass is really strong, but not too strong. I'm a big hip-hop fan and this is really one of my favorite speakers. Not only because of the look, but also because of the audio quality and size. For sure it's expensive with around 100 bucks, but I think it's worth it. The only downside is that the speakers have no protection and you need to purchase a quick charger extra. With a normal 5V 1A charger it takes forever to charge and at this size I think they should include a proper AC adapter.
So we're here already in the top 3 and here comes number 2, the one and only Ultimate Ears Megaboom. I'm so in love with those speakers because the app is just great. There's a full review already online on my channel so check out the video card. They are rugged, they have a good battery life, good sound quality and the app supports hooking up as many booms as you got at home for stereo or boosted sound. The app also comes with a nice equalizer and many more things. I'm using the Mega Booms for over a year and we dropped them, we drowned them in beer and much more and they are still alive. The 360 degree sound is awesome and it has IP67 waterproof certification with 100 feet of Bluetooth range and a 18 to 20 hour lasting battery. For sure it's expensive but this speaker brings a lot of pleasure to my daily life. 30% charge. Now finally, here's the king of all our speakers, the Harman Kardon Go Plus Play 2016, which costs around 300 to 400 bucks. I think I've never heard a speaker before that is that clear and provides such a great bass at maximum volume. This is what we use for our main PC and to watch movies. Even though it sounds like a professional speaker system, it's still kind of portable with its 3.5 kilograms. The battery lasts for up to 8 hours and if you want something to provide tunes for an outdoor session, this will beat the Bose SoundLink in terms of bass depth and sound scale. The controls are very simple, just some LEDs indicating the battery level, plus minus and the usual buttons to mute and turn it on. On the back there's a flap for a USB port, micro USB, a 3.5mm input and the massive 19V 3 amps input to charge it within 3 hours. The only downside to Harman Kardon's new Go Plus Play is shorter than average battery life. When used at high to max volume, you will get less than 3 hours of use and a really large form factor. The sound quality is just like from a different planet, like our new Teufel Concept E450, which we will review in the next week, so stay tuned for a review of our home entertainment area. So that was a quick comparison between all the Bluetooth speakers we got in our office. If you are still looking for a nice Christmas present, feel free to check out the links down below in the description. And also tell us about your favorite Bluetooth speaker in the comments and help us to reach 1000 likes in this video. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you later in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye. Those? <laughs> and these? And these? This one? <laughs> this one? And last but not this. And last but not this. <laughs> <laughs>